back to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about the Pan That Palette and Order update. I've been working on the Techni Days from Beauty Bay for the last month. And when I say working on, I feel like I should have a disclaimer. Um, I've used it a few times, uh, not too many times at all in the least. But thankfully Beauty Bay, for me at least, is an eyeshadow that I can easily hit pan on. I do feel like their pan depth are pretty pretty minimal compared to some other eyeshadow companies. So yeah, I, I feel like when I say I've been working on it, it's kind of a stretch because it's I've really just gotten lucky, <laughs> I think, with this last update. But anyway, this is a project that, I don't know who created this project, but I obviously got heavily inspired to start my own little project because Caitlin Costella has been doing this. And she did recently in her last update say that she was um, gonna move away from a lot of project panning content and this potentially could be one that she drops. Obviously that would be a shame, but she needs to do what she needs to do and you know, that's good for her. Um, but anyway, she heavily inspired me to do this. Um, and I obviously picked the Techni Days because it has less pans than some other palettes in my collection. I just thought, you know, Beauty Bay it should be easy. I should be able to get through it pretty fast. So, you know, yeah, it's, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how to do these updates without having them last just two minutes and then I'm done because this is literally like a really, 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 really quick update. But anyway, this project, what you wanna do is you wanna hit pan in all of the shades in the eyeshadow palette in order. So you start from obviously the first one, depending on if you go row by row or column by column. I'm, I'm doing row by row in this one. There are, there are only eight shades in this palette, but I already had two pans in it. So really it's just six shades that I've been trying to work on. <laughs> but I really just only have gone into one, which is the first one. And anyway, so, Let's go, let's do it. So I guess you'll see it on the screen kind of what it looked like last month. Yeah, drum roll, this is what it's looking like. So I do have a pan because obviously I have hit pan in it now. So that would make sense. Um, so yeah, I've been working on this shade which is called Kaleidoscope. I actually have it on my eyes today. I've just hit pan on it today. I thought, you know what? I haven't touched this in like a couple of weeks. Let's try to hit pan. So I did, and then I have a bunch of shades from my Project Level Up palette, the Equalizer 2 from Sample Beauty. So I've gone for a very purpley look. I'm, you know, winter is here. There is no sun. The, the, the summer has disappeared for whatever reason. It has disappeared, but I'm, I'm very, very hoping that in the next couple of days, Finally, it comes back again. It's just, we've just got some cold breeze and it does feel so wintry, it's awful. Anyway, so yeah, I thought let's do a purple wintry look. So went into this shade and then some others. Oh, I also have my ColourPop Dazzle Shadow or the Jelly, Jelly Munch Shadow, whatever it's called. Um, so that's also on my eyes today. But yeah, it has been a shade that I have used, not very much as I have said. It really doesn't take me long to hit pan, especially when it's a shimmer as well. I've only gone into it three times, including today and I hit pan on it today. Obviously I have used the shade before, but I didn't have a significant use. I probably only used it maybe once, maybe twice before and that's it. Which, yeah, I mean that's, that's, I don't know. I don't know, I expected going into this update with no progress and then when I hit pan it today I was like, oh well it's a sign, I gotta film my update. So yeah, I only used this palette three times. <laughs> it's not a lot, it's not a lot. But I did also go into this shade also, um, which is what's on my lower lash line today, which is called Dazed. And so this is the next one that I need to work on. Obviously it is a matte. It's got like hardly like to zero, no disturbance. I think today is the first time I've actually gone into it, or maybe the second time that I've gone into it ever. So we'll see, I think it'll probably take a little bit longer. I think this one took a little bit longer to hit pan on. And this type of pink is not a pink that I go in all that often, it's pretty bright, so we'll see. But yeah, I went into it once, so yeah, three times and then one time this update. 
it's just not a lot. It's not a lot. This video is already over. So I, I've been thinking because in my intro, I really wanted to pull the earthly palette from Beauty Bay, which is really, really big, but I, I kind of want to do it. And also somebody mentioned that instead of going row by row, where I kind of like start with these dark ones, I could go column by column. And then I would end up having a mixture of some green and then getting on to some of these more uh, neutral shades and I think that would be better than having two full rows of green or three full rows of green before I even touch any of the neutrals. So I think I'm going to go into this palette and this I'm going to have two pan that palette in orders in this project. And we'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna start off at the top here which is called Fresh and then I'll go and work my way down. I mean, obviously there's a bunch of green all in order there, but I will eventually get to some neutrals and a brown, so it's not all bad. And you know what, this can be, this can be something I work on like all year long because I haven't actually touched this palette at all this year and there's just so many shades in here. I think it would be a good opportunity just to keep it out and for me to just work on it just very easily. Like I'm not, I'm not putting a lot of pressure on this project at all. That's why I kind of liked it because, you know, it's just, we're just actually just working on one shade for the month at a time. But now I'm gonna be working on two shades at a time. So a pink, which, you know, pink and green can kind of go, but I don't know if that pink is gonna go with this green. Let's, let's swatch them, let's swatch them. So the green is kind of, it's a very muted mint color. I don't even know what, what color you would call that. So anyway, that is like the muted, green and then the pink they kind of they kind of look pretty together i don't know i don't know so those are the two shades i'm going to be working on in uh the next month if i can hit pan in both of them that would be amazing but realistically i have a lot of projects going on so if it's just one or none but i get some use out of them i think that would be exciting as well so yeah i'm going to be rolling in this big old palette to go with this one. Also, this is such a colorful palette and I just feel like it would be nice to pair it with something and pair it with this huge one. Why not? Once I hit pan in the pink, I then will work on the green. Now that might come become tricky, but maybe depending on where I am, it'll be one of these three, right? If it's this one, it probably won't work out too well, but if it's one of these two, at least it's a little bit different. So we'll see. I mean, I don't have to pair them together, but it's, it, it, I always found this is a good companion palette, and obviously this is just a huge, massive palette. So if I can try to do looks together, maybe some fun looks with some pink and green, then that would be ideal. But yeah, let's see how it goes over the next month. This is a, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a new project for me. I've only rolled in it one, one month. I'm not entirely sure how it's gonna go, but I'm excited I got a pan. So that's, I mean, that's always a plus, right? So I got, I got the cheeky pan. Obviously it was an easier one, shimmer on all that. So yeah, this next month I think is gonna be a little bit harder and more of a test of how well this project is going to do for me. But anyway, regardless of that, that is my update. That is my Pan That Palette in order. So go check out Caitlin Costello if you do not know her, but she is um, posting every single day. Always a new video, always fun to watch. And she has tons of content that you can binge. So yes, I'm heavily inspired by her doing this. Um, she did, I think last year as well. And I just, I just felt like I got an itch and I wanted to do it. So I've been doing it. But yeah, let's see how it goes. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you'd like to, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.